Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 scenario video. This is the Gala Gathering on the West Somerset Railway. Uh, it's going to come up with any text. Welcome to Blue Anchor. The journey from Bishop to Lydiard has progressed well and there's only two stops left to complete. So that's Dunster and then Minehead, basically along the coast. Uh, the digital gala taking place at Minehead is eagerly awaiting the arrival of this train. Okay, well let's get in and let's go. That's a lot of people. A big single line. I can't imagine if it was like that in real life. I mean, one single line, almost in sync, literally in sync with each other. Uh, there you go. Right, return to the cab and sit in the driver's seat. Can we get that shot? There. Uh, DSD as well, we'll get that on. Oh, is it so? No, on. Uh, we'll get AWS on before we forget. Obviously, it won't tell us to put it on. There you go, right. Uh, lock the doors. Is it already set up for us? Oh, it is already set up for us. Well, no, no. Oh, I'm, I've done it again. I'm so used to the old, no, to the new control scheme. Uh, on that one, it had the. Uh, uh, other one. Uh, set the driver's switch to release and apply for to get going. Let's quickly park that. Right. There's that. I don't know. Is that correct? Can we manually do that? No, that's a sun visor. I don't know, but we're off. How do we I want that to stop. There you go. Uh, coming out of Blue Anki, you've got these sort of old sort of coaches here which aren't even modelled, they're sort of just, I don't know where they're from, almost looks like they're out of TS, I don't know, that's quite cool there. Got the beach over there to the right of us, and um, we're sort of following the coast round to Minehead. But yeah, hopefully everyone is uh, doing well, obviously yeah, we in, are in the class 52 at the moment, obviously you get the one on the... Um, what is the one we got? Western Campaigner. Yeah, obviously you've got the ones on. Um, oh, speeding a little bit on uh, the Diesel Legends pack, and then you've got the ones on here as well. Obviously, the difference being the livery. We are speeding a fair bit. It's fine. It's a preserved railway. Let's uh, let's try and get a nice shot of us next to sort of the beach. Oh, that'll be good. And if it was only the other side, it would be much better. Lovely. Let's get back in there, going up to 25. Obviously the max limit for uh, preserved railways in the UK. Well, that, I swear, someone will probably know, but I swear on the, uh, what is it, um, the Great Central Railway. Or well, somewhere up north, they, they, it's a double track one, and I'm pretty sure they can at times run higher than 25. Am I, is that correct? I think it's called the Great Central Railway, and they can run, uh, yeah, higher speeds than usual for a preserved railway. But then if I'm completely correct on that. 1.3 miles to Dunster. Have a... And 0.9 we need to come down to 10. I reckon this is probably my favourite part of the route, sort of just, you know, you've got the beach over there, it's the last sort of stretch down to Minehead. And Blue Anchor's definitely my favourite station on the West Somerset Railway, as it literally is on the beach, literally on the beach. Um, yeah, I love this uh, sort of section of the line. As you'll see, when you come out of Bishop's Lydiard up to sort of Willerton, you're sort of in the hills, you can't really... I don't know, I, just, I don't really like that section of the route where it's sort of, you know, it's sort of in the woods going through up the hill, there isn't much to see. And you come out here, it's all around, all flat, you've got the beach over there, it's lovely. Let's get that up a tad. There we go. Yeah, but this is uh, this DLC obviously is part of the uh, Class 52 DLC. Obviously, you can actually get the Class 52 on the Diesel Legends pack, uh, obviously, which 
released uh, more recently. Uh, obviously, you can get the BR Blue version in in there, but in this one, it's uh, uh, the uh, maroon one. Let's get the window open. Get a bit of air in here. Massive window on this one. Can we? If we close that one, can we open that one? Oh, we can. Cool. Coming out to ten shortly. I keep them in. Um, I'm so used to the old control scheme. I keep wanting to zoom in. Obviously, we can't though. That's coming out to 10. Okay, let's um, put a bit of that on. Bring us down slowly. There's a whistleboard along here, I think, because there's a couple of crossings. Yeah, I think there's a whistleboard um, with this speed limit. And we really do need to bring it down, because we do seem to like speeding uh, in this. I'll get that one on. I can't up to our first of all, it's just Dunster. Now for anyone who what doesn't know what this flashing white means, it basically means the level crossing's working, it's all good, good times. Obviously if it was uh, not flashing white then that wouldn't be good. And also someone actually mentioned on West Somerset Railway that the crossing is working now. Which I think that crossing at Minehead is the only one on the whole route which is like a proper crossing like that. So maybe uh, I, don't, I don't. Maybe it is working. We have to. Have, oh god, we're speeding. Maybe we have to. We have to have a little look. But someone mentioned that on one of the streams that the uh, level crossing's now working there. I don't know if maybe just because it makes the sound. Maybe they thought it was working. I don't know. Let's do a sh very slow five miles an hour. Yeah, but what does everyone think of the West Somerset Railway? Do you still play this route, or do you not really play it anymore? It's one of those routes I really hardly come on, because I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of sort of heritage preserved railways, especially in the game. Obviously, in real life, I love going to the preserved railways, going out on a you know train ride. But sort of on here, I'm a bit, uh, you know, I'm not, not as big fan. I'm more of a modern route person. That's all. What's that going on now? Can we turn that, turn that, turn that wiper on now? Set it park. There you go. And we we'll get that off. There we go. Right, just wait in here. Yeah, but do you still play this route much anymore? And if they ever did add another preserved railway, which they probably will, what preserved railway do you want to see in the game? Obviously, with steam coming, there probably is quite big possibilities uh, for one to come. It's got the Mark ones on the back. We've got blood and custard. We've got two minutes until we can leave. Should have already turned the engine off. Two minutes and then we'll be off. So what I'll do is I'll see you all in two minutes time. See you all. Right, the time is coming up to 15.41. Um, and I'll just notice I don't really need those on. Uh, you can see the little signal thing on there, that one. Wait, look on the... There, there you go, it's gone now. Don't need it. Let's get that off, uh, we get the door shut. No, realistically, oh, I've done it again. <sighs> done it again. Um, so let's park. Park. Oh, right. Let's get going. Sound the uh, horn. So we 
coming across the crossing. There we go. See, sometimes on the old game, if you did that in drive mode, probably uh, switch to camera mode, it would continue it. Seems it doesn't work on this one. Oh, a bit of speed up again to 25 in a second for the last mile and a half to Minehead. Minehead's quite a nice station as well. I mean, they're all quite nice stations. Speed, I want to speed up. I better slow down quickly before we get told off. Before anyone notices, we're a few miles over. Yeah, from here to mine head, it literally is a straight line. Let's go full whack. Look at that coming out of there. Obviously, I believe this one has two engines. Obviously, most of the time you would only see one sort of um, fume trail, but in this one has two. And it has got two engines. Which I suppose means it can go extra fast. But I mean, how fast would this thing go with just one engine on? Would it still go the same sort of speed or would it sort of go half the speed? Does anyone know? If you t shut off one of the engines on here, which I mean, we could actually do. Uh, but I don't want to sort of screw up the scenario. No, I don't want to screw up the scenario. We'll have to try it at some point. Turn off one engine and just see if it can run. And probably. Let's get a flyby shot, we haven't really got one have we? Here it comes. There we go. Lovely. And also yeah, we don't have the passenger lights on, just realistically at least on the Heritage Rail as I've been on in the UK. Uh, they don't really turn on the uh, passenger lights unless it's a tunnel or when it is actually dark outside I suppose it's to save money I mean, fair enough especially at these in these times as well yeah you don't if you yeah, don't turn on the passenger lights unless there's a tunnel or there's um, or it is stark like in winter All right, let's bring the speed down a tad Yes, there we go. Let's make that a bit more. We need to come down to 10 miles an hour, so fairly slow. Uh, this is on the final approach into Minehead. Down. We've got the yellow there as we do come into the station. A little two at the on there, although we don't really need to. Got the flashing white again, obviously, thing us the crossing is working fine. But yeah, someone did mention in the stream that this crossing was now actually working. It went up and down. I don't know if those got mistaken by the way this one makes the sound and always has made the sound. Also compared to some of the others. Right, make sure there's no points to be set. Uh, I think we're all good. And I think in the next scenario we're basically shunting around to getting this uh, locomotive onto the turntable. Which is... Here I believe. And there's uh... No, it's not there. There's the turntable there I think. Or is it there? I don't know. Somewhere on here is the turntable. I think it is this bit here. And uh, yeah, I think in the next scenario, it wants us to sort of get the 52 on it. Probably actually follows off from this scenario. Lovely. 
probably. So it's around 25 uh, minutes this scenario, so I don't know if we are doing a bit more. I think we are probably doing a bit more, aren't we? Or was this the scenario where we get on the turntable? I don't know. Got a 47 and a 09 there. Lovely. Almost there. Breathers help. Oh, we must have just before the point. Yes. We'll just uh, put that brake on for now. That brings us down nicely. Here we are. Minehead, we made it. Oh, I've done it again. Again. Oh, God, I'll put it in there. there. Right, so, oh, but that one's come on as well. Let's get that one to park. Park. Park the wipers. There we go. So what we doing now then? Now we are uncoupling and doing something. Let's come out here somewhere already. Come right there. What's that one do then there? Ooh, can't use that one. Right, we need to uncouple the uh, coaches. Let's come back here. Uh, it's time to get involved in the diesel gala. Hey. Uh, uncouple. There we go. Uh, stop at Minehead Shunt, uh, which is obviously just ahead of us. So I think I think we are actually getting onto the turntable in this one, which I I, I thought was in the next one, but obviously not. Yeah, quite a nice place, Minehead. Right next to the beach. Obviously the 52 is quite a lengthy locomotive, so we need to go right up as far as we can. I think that'll be alright. Is that alright? Uh, set the reverse to reverse. Uh, set the junctions to allow the locomotive to run across the other one. I have to probably do that one as well, won't we? There we go. Uh, these are all good, they're all good. Right, main, Minehead Station entrance, let's go. Let's stick her out, up. stick her out, no, oh no. No, I want to stick made out the window there. See, this reminds me of, so when you actually do go to a, a preserved railway, I always remembered, but when I went there, you know, when the train's running itself around, everyone sort of looks out the window to see the train sort of going back past. Get your phones out and you know, recording it or cameras. Uh, obviously, as it was quite a few years back. We open the door as we went along. <laughs> right, we're going all the way back. Uh, make sure these points are good. Yeah, so we're going out to basically the level crossing. I believe that's clear, that signal there, yes! So yeah, we must be getting onto the turntable on this one then. So I suppose we'll be running through here. No, oh, yeah, through this sort of middle bit here and onto the uh, turntable. My head signal box. Where are the stairs to get into that? I suppose you have to go in and go up, I suppose. It's probably the stairs in this little bit here. It's usually up so you get the stairs on the outside going up. Stopping just off the signal. That should be alright as the back of the train should be over the marker. 
There we go. Right, set the reverse to forward. That's now cleared. Bayside, I'm guessing that is. Head down to the turntable at the far end of the station. Right, off we go again. Hello, level crossing again. I feel like that up there, awesome. Oh, we don't need to set any points, do we? Uh, no, we're all good. I think we'll clear it actually onto the turntable. Yeah, you can see the turntable there. Just there. And back along. I wonder if we get to turn around the train, that'll be cool. Oh, we do. We get a bit of turntable action. Got all 47s here, actually. To here. I think there's there's a few turntables in this. I know there's one on um, oh there's one on uh, what is it? What's the brew? Uh, there's one on Sam Putts Grade. That one works. There's one on here. There is one on the Chanel Fast Track Up. I don't think that one actually works. We're not. Oh, we're not even supposed to go on it yet. Oh, we're not. We were supposed to get on it. It's alright. Right, we'll, we'll go back. It's fine. Go back quick. Coming back quick. It wants us to stop just before it, but you would think. God, anyway, right, back we go. Back we go. It's alright. And we'll stop. Stop here. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Now what? So while wow, the crowd pull the locomotive fully onto the turntable and give it a twirl, but we just did that. And anyway, on we go. And up back, forward, no, forward. Go. And it's quite a long locomotive, so it needs to be properly on. So is there actually any operational turntables at the moment in the UK, obviously out of preserved railways? So obviously some um, obviously train operating companies do own locomotives, but I suppose you don't really need to be um, turning them around as obviously they've got um, a cab on each end. But is there any southern region that still work? I'm guessing not, but you never know. Right, let's uh, come out of there. Ah, here's the uh, control panel, it's quite cool getting onto it. Uh, unlock control panel. Look at this, actually turns around. I think there's also cameras on here as well. Ah, uh, maybe not. We are turning the train. Well, that's very sort of wobbly as it comes around. Everyone's very happy lining the platform with their cameras. Oh, no, don't stop. Oh, we stopped. Uh, that way, maybe? No, uh, it's, it's not going. Why is it not going? Oh, we'll go back, we'll go back as well. I did something, I didn't like it. Right, we'll go back around here. Sorry, but I found this one that's brilliant, would it? 
go wrong way, get stuck, and I have to turn the other way. No, don't stop. No. Keep going. Why is this? Why are we stopping? No, no, no. We're going back this way now. Maybe it's because I'm looking that way, so it thinks. I don't know, well, we'll let it do it soon. We're going quite quick now. That's good. Keep it going, keep it going, do not stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Why are we stop? I don't know what's going on here. Rotate there. Oh, I thought we might have problems on here. Why are we not being able to turn then? Oh no, no, it's going, it's going slowly. Okay, alright, we Maybe it had to wait. Gonna stop on there, don't go too far. Don't go too far. No, no, stop. Wait. I think it does stop automatically actually. No, no, no. No, no is that good? That's not good, is it? No, it, no, no, no. No, no, stop, stop. Lock it. Lock. Uh oh. Uh, right. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, God, we're, we're trapped on. Ah, let me off. Train out of control. Um, we have nothing to do with it. But right, let's uh, let's get on, get on here. Uh, where's the step? God, they're still going round. I will leave it running for now. I'm sure it will. Uh, I'm sure the crowds will appreciate it. Yeah, is it going to stop or is it going to keep going? No, it's stopping, isn't it? Well, it stops. It's all good. We'll be driving the we'll be driving this the shanter. Yeah, well, let's just let's let's, let that, let's get this actually. Duty complete, there we go, that was that. Um but anyway, that is gonna be everyone for today's uh, TSW video. Obviously hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously do leave a like and do uh, leave a subscribe, it all does help out. Obviously all support is much appreciated. Obviously on screen now you will see our merch store, all of our fabulous merch in there. And obviously yeah, if you don't know actually who uh, does design our merch, I believe there actually is a link in the description. Uh, do go and check out Amanda Productions. Obviously on Instagram if you want merch for your company or YouTube, Go uh, leave her a message and for a fair price, she can uh, get you some merch. But that is going to be it. Thanks all for coming in and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all and take care.